folks, welcome to another beautiful Saturday afternoon out here in West Vancouver. Don't let the sunshine fool you, it is pretty cold, there's a really cold little wind blowing and it's, um, you know, it is what it is. It's funny though, it's, uh, this is like the calm before the storm because we've got this beautiful blue skies, giant clouds over on that side going to the mountain and our phones are blowing up with severe weather warnings for tomorrow. Last night it was absolutely crazy. What was it? One of the other guys, other South Africans I spoke to this morning said it sounded like a cyclone. The wind was blowing like mad. And then, you know, we have this beautiful day and apparently tomorrow we're getting snow. That's the beauty of Vancouver. You've got all seasons in one day. Well, I really hope there's a proper snowfall tomorrow. That would be fun. Um, you know, I love the snow. It's beautiful. I need to go and get firewood. That's what I need to do today. I need to go and buy firewood so we can make a fire and have and enjoy the snow. Anyway, today's video, we want to talk about a few basic housekeeping things. Um, so the first one is the South Africans in Vancouver.ca website. I promise you guys, I'm getting there. I'm working on it. I added a few more points to the map this morning. Um, we are working on a logo. I'll share it uh, probably a little bit later and then we'll start making the site pretty. In the meantime, if you know of cool places to look for jobs, because something that a lot of people have been asking um, from South Africa is where could they go to find jobs in Vancouver? Or where could they go to find jobs in Canada? So if you do know of any job boards or places for people from South Africa where they can look to find jobs in Canada, please post in the links below or at least share the video if you know somebody that knows so that we can put that resource up for everybody. I'm sure there's a lot of people that will appreciate it. And then another thing is, you know, I have to apologize. I've got all of you guys or there's so many of you that watch all our videos and, and enjoy it. And, and you know, uh, it feels like family and a lot of you are family that are watching our videos, which is really amazing. But, um, you know, we're trying to make a little bit of money from the channel. That's why there's ads running on the channel. And um, it, uh, unfortunately, the videos that make money are more of the you know how to fill out the forms videos so i just want to apologize to all of you that have that see all those videos you don't have to watch them i promise those are for the people that's going to uh <laughs> those are for the guys that are searching for that specifically on youtube and that are um you know those are the ones that make a few bucks for us for those of you that want to know i think i th we currently make about 70 dollars a month out of the youtube channel ads yeah it's a dinner at least i guess so nothing wrong with that um for the rest not much to report it's a beautiful saturday we're going to get some work done i am working on the south africans in vancouver website today and uh we are just holding thumbs for our pr to come through soon it seems like it could not to take too long from now so touch wood now we need to start looking into what the next steps are because Obviously, Angelique wants to try and find a job as soon as possible because she wants the money and we want her to find a job as soon as possible. What did they, what, you know, her lay, lazing around the house when her friends are away is just driving us all nuts. So it's better that she goes and finds some work experience. Um, but we obviously need to just quickly look into that and figure out how that works because I think she needs to apply for a SIN number first. I don't know how long that's going to take. Normally not too long. Um, and once she's got a SIN number, she can actually go and work once she's received the PR. So we need to start checking that out. Um, what else is there? Oh, it's like um, Belinda did that application for the kids, uh, the children's refund or whatever it's called. And it's actually at the same time when you complete that, they also register you for GST refunds. And I don't know what it's like a whole bunch of stuff. So this last month, we just get this amounts of money paid into our bank account. $600 there, $100 there, for, uh, it's just crazy. It's GST, refund, Canada, environmental, tax, refund. I, just, I literally have got no idea how all of that has worked out. So I'm going to need to start doing a little bit of research on that and figuring out how all of that works because it's quite handy. You know, you'd like go into the bank and there's some sort of refund they send you money 
So, you know, well, I guess you pay very high taxes, so they do have money to send back to you, but hey, it's still fun. All right, folks, I'm going to call it. You almost have an absolutely beautiful day. Cheers.